target in terms of testing those combinations and new combinations. 12th hosting 7th in the world rankings and a very big 80 minutes for both sides. Missouri feasting on the early Australian mistake there to get themselves into enemy territory. And look at the enthusiasm that those forwards are bringing. Brex has to take it at the standstill. Referee's arm giving the advantage to the home side already. Varney, last week's player of the match, gets a scrag there, but they will go back for that earlier call. Four from four off the tee in Padua. Already one from one off the tee here in Firenze. And he's the target, the quick roll around for Skelton to rev the engine. They go again, McRae pulled up just short, but it's still there. Hannigan driving for the line. Who's next up? Given and McRae together. A little help from his friends from Matt Given. Advantage offside. Determined defence from the home side, so it's moved out. Ikatao can't find a way through there. The lob ball, and there was nowhere for Tom Wright to go there. And feather in the cap for the Italian D, but they will go back for another penalty call. Offside. And unfortunately for Italy, transgressing uh, yeah, yeah, with all the pressure that's been yeah, yeah, applied yeah, 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 yeah. by the Australian attack. No, Alessio's been the... kicking well this mm -hmm. year. 17 really? positives out of 19 shots. Uh, I didn't have the number. The, uh, it was the guy the with his hands in Fly play. half, yeah. keeping that form up with his first opportunity here. With uh, some impact. Gold way. Ferrari go, 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 go. And in the end, the kick is forced, and this is what the likes of this man and his cohorts want. Tommy Allen puts in a wonderful kick. And there is going to be the first card. Jake Gordon is the man who's going to sit out. Well, Brendan Pickle isn't a man known for cards. Only four yellow cards in five years, can you believe? Well, you've got to change that stat now. And Jake Gordon is going to watch the next ten. Quarter of an hour gone on the clock. And this is what Monte Ioanni yeah. brings to the side. It's going to be in for Brought anyway, back yeah. from the Rebels for this Autumn Nation Series. Under pressure, under threat, down a man, of course, with Jake Golden in the sin bin. Moore! Oh, Kimono, the Five. younger, sets the target. Lucchese comes round to drive. And making some headway, smelling opportunity, yeah. smelling Five. success. Five. Skelton all over the ball. Varney feeds it out. The rainbow pass, and it's a try. The try is there. Ferenze celebrates. As the Italians make the most of that man advantage. Yeah, he is proving to be a finisher of some quality, Pierre Bruno. That his fourth try. He's only playing in his sixth game, of course, a brace either side of half time last week in Padua. We were we were on the line. Yeah. He just came from the side and was clearly. So we we had that advantage. So it would have been a penalty. Yeah, so you had that advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Alan sure footed off the tee takes Italy into double figures as we come to the end of the first quarter. More spacious climbs, turnover ball. Michele Lamano, what an inspirational choice he was as captain, of course. Somebody that Kieran Crowley knew well from Benetton. Handling is there, Bricks. 
and a charge through from Capuzzo. Ange Capuzzo is back in Italian ranks with impact. What a score. Two tries through the yellow card. And the Azuria smiling, young and old. What a try. Look at that attacking setup. Yuani coming off his wing. Quick hands. Okay, and ultimately, it's a three on one. Quick hands there by Monte Yuani. This is where he's so dangerous, ball in hand. What a finish, what a try. Italy flying high. What a discovery Capozzo has been. But certainly, you can look at the confidence, you can look at the organisation. And Tommy Allen hitting it out of the corner again after a bit of a knock. Again, the counter ruck is there. Well away. This time, Australia protect the ball. Not right. and no way through. Reception committee of Lucchese and Brex. Advantage. Again, the penalty it. though Advantage. goes against the defence. Alessio throws it wide this time, right's in the right place. Pun. Just waiting to Pun. see the hand go up. Confirmation okay. Okay. between Andrew Brace and Brendan so we've got field try. We just want to check that. Okay. TMO, Marius, we're listen. coming up to you. You can award the try. You can award the try. You can award the try. You, you're looking for touch? Yeah. Award the try. Perfect, thank you. So he's cleared the touch line, so we can award the try. Award the try. Quick call from Maris Jonker in the truck. The try is given. Tom Wright gets his fourth in international colours. That was Lelacio's huge miss pass that set it up. And that is just what Australia needed right now as we head into the last 10 minutes of this first half. Flag, of course, doesn't count for anything. Good work, Maris. Good work, Maris. A flying Tom Wright. And the 22 year old can't bring it round at the second attempt. Difficult to miss. And just flopping onto the. onto the record. So that's it, a first 40 that Italy ran in two excellent tries to give them a 17 3 lead. Half time here in Firenze. It's Italy leading 17 points to 8. Jack Gordon, the World Towers captain. Goes left, Tassami runs into a, a blue ambush, but they keep the ball going. Alessio given quick presentation from the Wallabies, not allowing the Italian defence to reline. Sense of urgency for those in green and gold. Out one. Advantage one not rolling. Fischetti has been pinged. So free play for the visitors. Percy Swain almost but not quite. McRate is though. Fraser McRate gets his fourth try for Australia. The first try in this second half. And that is a key score psychologically for the visitors. Key score psychologically, as you said, Simon. They've been under pressure in the first half. They start the second half very confidently. Pretty much retained the first three minutes of possession. Alala Toa there with a nice tip on. And it's the speed of the recycle, the flow of the Australian attack, beating the Italian defenders, not allowing them to get in strong defensive positions. I'm not secure right. off the tee. Three out of five now in this game so far. Is he going to get another opportunity here? No doubt this time. The crowd now urging their compatriots 
to press a little further. Johan is the man to beat Capuzzo! And once again, the Azzurri bank three strikes. Deft handling, superb lines of running. And the players deliver. Lovely ball behind against to Tommaso Allen. Quick hands by Ioanni. And with a little bit of space. Look at him slice through the defence. And an opportunity lost. Federico Rutz up. That's a good tackle. Just giving Australia a chance, Hannigan. And it's Robertson. Well, from villain to hero in the space of 60 odd seconds. Darcy Swain coming through there on the arm, the ball goes loose. Eduardo Padovani would be the like for like replacement as Lalesio sends it on its way. Great kick from the Lalesio. Nicotero finds Nicolo Canone. Advantage. Two second rows have had excellent games for the Azuri this afternoon. You've got advantage, Rico Ruzzo once again, his 14th consecutive game in Italian colours. Again, the penalty goes against the visitors. Is Talavani going to brave things? Concentration. He's done it. He bisects the posts and gets a vital three points for the home side. Now there's a six-point differential, five minutes left on the clock. No nine, behind the ball, nine! Hold! No, no nine, no nine! Dema, trying to time the run in midfield. And the corner, come the Aussie forwards, but look at that tackle from Rutza. On! Every hit now being cheered to the rafters by the home fans. Out 16. Here come Australia and they're through. It's Neville. Cadrin Neville has got the score. Well, we said so many of the Aussie games in Europe have been decided by a single point. There is now going to be a conversion opportunity for the visitors that could decide another game in Europe. Thanks, this time, it could make them okay, victors. Um, obviously very important, so... What a finish we have here. On your post and communicate. Ben Donaldson is the man. The 23-year-old Waratahs playmaker. <laughs> a junior <laughs> Wallaby. Um, He's not been on the park <laughs> long. Have you got what it takes, young man? Can you step up for your country in the time of need? You're not going to be kicking in a vacuum, that's for sure. Ben Donaldson kicking for a Wallaby win. He can't bring it around, and Italy have done it! For the first time in ten years, they've got back-to-back -back home wins. In the birthplace of Renaissance in Italian art and culture, are we seeing the Renaissance of Italian rugby here in Firenze? The first time in 19 matchups, they have been successful against Australia. Everything, but everything in the Italian garden seems to be blooming right now. What a match, what a game. Samar in week one, Australia in week two, South Africa next up in Genoa. The full-time score here in Firenze. Italy 28, Australia 27.